We're in the old Montreal sector with older looking buildings. This is the cozy European style environment that I was told Montreal has. It's pretty nice around here. Well, in my never ending quest to see amazing architecture, right here is one of them I really wanted to see. Look at this. Wow. La Chapelle de Notre Dame de Bon Secours is North America's oldest still functioning church. It dates from 1655. The original chapel burned down in 1754, and a new larger chapel was built opening in 1773. The front of the church has a neoclassical stone facade and bell tower. The rear of the church was completed in a Victorian style. Oh, take a look at that. That is incredible. The monuments facing the port are statues of angels and the Virgin Mary with her arms open and welcoming. She is known as the Star of the Sea, and she is the patron saint of sailors. Nice, very beautiful church. The building looks really beautiful. I want to try to go in that. The chapel is highly ornate, using a number of different decorative elements. The altar, as the main focal point, has elaborate decorative carving such as the marble pilasters and draped swag. On either side are smaller ornate altars. And what is fascinating about one of these altars is that inside it contains uh, the remains of Marguerite Bourgeois, who was the founder of the chapel here. She was also the first teacher of Montreal and the first female Canadian to be canonized. One of the most noticeable features in the chapel is the ships hanging from the ceiling. This comes from this nickname the chapel got being the Sailor's Chapel, which comes from the fact the chapel is right next to the arbor. One day around 1872, a group of sailors were coming back from Europe. They stumbled on a storm. It lasted three days and completely ravaged the ship. So the sailors prayed to Our Lady of Good Help, Notre Dame de Bon Secours, and they asked for a safe trip to uh, Montreal, and they promised that if they made it alive, they would make a gift to the chapel. So they decided to have a replica of their ship made, and they gave that to the chapel, which is the first ship we got. Later, this started this tradition for sailors to bring ships in Thanksgiving, so we have many ships hanging from the ceiling. The current painted ceiling is actually the result of a happy mistake. During some repair work in 1994, workers noticed part of the ceiling beginning to peel. It was soon determined that the ceiling had been covered with a canvas that was held in position for almost a hundred years. This revelation prompted the church to close for three years and undergo extensive restoration work. The painted vault that is present today is in fact the original unveiled ceiling from 1886. It's a style that was very popular back then, which is called trompe which means to trick the eye. But when you look at it, you have this feeling that it's three-dimensional. This effect comes from the fact that the painter took the time to actually paint the shadows. So we're gonna go up 69 stairs to go to like the top, which is apparently the tallest point in Old Montreal. We're halfway up. <laughs> More stairs. Hey, look at the people from up here. Like, you can literally see everything from this view. What, in my opinion, really makes this uh, chapel stand out from the other churches in Montreal is this feel that you're in a, in a shelter and it's so warm that it really makes you feel like you're at home. And also the presence of the sailors dating from so long ago just adds to the charm of this holy place.